So I've been doing some digging around and I found a completely free plugin for Adobe Illustrator that allows you to control and manipulate color in pretty interesting ways actually. So follow along and get a new plugin totally for free. And sponsoring today's video is Skillshare, the place to learn a new skill set heading into 2020. With classes on music, photography, design, freelancing, and much, much more, there's bound to be something there to trigger your creativity and something that can provide vital skills heading into 2020. Learn how you can get Skillshare Premium for two months totally for free later in today's video. Today's plugin is totally free as I did mention, and it's available on both Windows and Mac. Now you do need to have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, but I know most of you guys actually have one of those. You can read the overview here, and it also tells you how to access the download in Adobe Illustrator. Now Adobe does install this automatically for you into your program, which is really, really handy. So here we are in Illustrator, and I've opened the plugin on the right. There are three main functions. We have a tweaker, randomizer and also setter. Two of these I did find really useful and the other one, the third one, not so much. But it's free so I can't exactly complain. The neat thing is, and pretty much the main grab of this plugin, is that you can switch between fills, strokes and also text. You can also have a combination of all of these three on the same design. But to make sense of all of that, let's first look at the tweaker option. Here we have the tolerance level, and this determines how much or how strongly you want to apply an effect or an adjustment. It goes from 0 to 225. Below this, we have the first RGB settings, and seeing as I have the fill activated at the top, I can play around with these levels, and also I can adjust the saturation and the brightness using these sliders below. It is really neat to have all of this into one color panel. But to really demonstrate the power of this tweaker option, here I've got a quick logo that I created on the fly, and it's made up of several different shapes. But I can actually adjust the colour, the brightness, the saturation, and all of this on one design in one panel. This I find is really useful, and especially considering this plugin is free. Now you should be aware of the tolerance levels because this can dramatically change the outcome if you use say a really high tolerance. This sort of tool would be very useful for changing the entire colour, the tint or the saturation of a single design, or even multiple designs for that matter. But let's now move on to the second option with this plugin, the randomizer option. Admittedly, this is the weaker of the three options. And you wouldn't really use it on a logo, as you want to be precise and really smart about your colour choices. However, a randomizer can be useful for things like pattern designs or digital art, where you have complex backgrounds that might require a quick and a random colour. You can control the randomness level with this top slider. But yeah, I don't really rate this option and it's pretty much useless to me in most situations. The third option, however, is pretty useful, and it's sort of like the live bucket tool, but it's kind of an advanced version of it in some respects. If I grab a design, and then in the setter option I click the pipette icon, this plugin will sample every colour that makes up that design. I can then just drop in a colour from the selection onto my design. It is really neat that I have every single colour swatch of my design or even my artboard in a single location and a single panel. I can also select them all, deselect them all, and trash can certain ones if I don't want to use them. But returning back to the start of this plugin, we do have the fill, stroke, and text options. And so I can have a design selected and change certain elements, such as the logo type, completely on the fly. It's just really neat having all of these colour selections and the power to control colour in one panel. And of course it's free. And making today's video possible is Skillshare. It's the online learning community where millions of creatives come together to learn new skills and to excel their careers or their hobbies into 2020. And one of the courses I really am digging right now is one by Gustavo Torres. And even with my busy schedule, I still manage to learn things as most of them are under 60 minutes. So it's really easy to integrate Skillshare into your day-to-day -day life. I said the first 1,000 people to subscribe to Skillshare will have two months totally for free on the premium version. So join Skillshare today and learn some new essential skills for your career or your hobby heading into 2020.
So if you want to see more free plugins straight into Adobe Illustrator, click one of the videos on screen now. And of course, subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.